you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the cross, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Today, we celebrate All Souls Day to remember all the faithful departed, especially to pray for them as part of our responsibility as members of that communion of saints. I mentioned yesterday, uh, we believe in the communion of saints, in our creed, in the Apostles' Creed. The communion of saints, community of saints, we, the militant church, the pilgrim church, and then the suffering church, and then the glorious church in heaven. And a part of our responsibility is to pray for them, those who are the suffering church that when they entered heaven they will be the ones praying for us that's why i always mention those who are laid to rest in our cemetery and they will hear in heaven we are praying for them they will be praying for us amen amen and last uh saturday the ccd kids were here um putting flowers on the graveyards, the tombs, and the youngest one, the little cute one, Brooklyn, I, I asked her, what's your favorite, uh, who's your favorite saint? And she said, Saint Brooklyn. <laughs> Saint Brooklyn. <laughs> Herself. <laughs> Saint Brooklyn. <laughs> Herself, and it is true. We all yesterday did our reflection about being a saint. Being a saint, we are called. We are called to be saints. We are called to holiness, and we are. And that's what God wants us to be with Him. And it's the gospel today. This is the will of my Father. The Lord said that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him, we have eternal life. And so. We continue in our second reading, the first reading, the, the great love of God for us. In the second reading, nothing can separate us from the love of God. How beautiful. And in many parts of the gospel readings today, there are many gospel readings, choices, 11, 12 choices for gospel readings. And one of the gospels mentioned that the Lord will prepare a place for us. The Lord will prepare a place for us. How, how great is the love of God for us. That He will prepare a place for us in heaven. Amen. 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 And the challenge for us now is 
Are we preparing also ourselves? Do we prepare also? God is preparing something, a place, a banquet for us. Are we, prepare, are we preparing ourselves? And so this is the question that we, day to day of our lives, we are the ones that only answer. Are we the one? Are we preparing also? And so this day, a very specific day, we honor the saints. The saints who are in heaven, the saints also who are in the suffering church. We will pray for them. And us preparing in this community of saints, preparing for the journey that we will be worthy of the place God prepared for us. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord, we join our prayers. In baptism, all the faithful departed received the light of Christ, scatter the darkness now, and lead them over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord our, prayer. Prayer. our brothers and sisters, we're nearest to the table of the Savior. Welcome them into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. They spent their lives following Jesus. Count them among holy men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all those whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayers. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our brothers and sisters have gone to their rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord welcome them to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist them with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with them. Together, may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. Come, you are blessed by my Father, says the Lord. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, by your own three days in the tomb, you have the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brothers and sisters may sleep in peace until you awaken them in glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then they will see you face to face. And in your light will see light and know the splendor of God, for you live forever and ever. Amen. Because God has chosen them from this life to Himself, we pray and commit their bodies to the earth 
For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend them to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace them in peace and raise them up on the last day. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ. The Lord bless them and keep them. The Lord make his face shine upon them and be gracious to them. The Lord lift up his countenance upon them and give them peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, and hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. Through his rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God, the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joys of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us have now the blessings in the tombs.